English for teachers. Dog story. When Lee and I were in high school, our teacher told us this story of Dogger and his father. That was almost ten years ago, but we still remember the story as if he told it to us yesterday. It is very powerful. Lee and I would like to share. This story with you now. There was a man who had a son named Dolga. Dolga was his only son. He loved Dolga very much. This man worked on a train bridge. The train bridge went over water, but the bridge was special. It could move. Sometimes tall boats needed to sail under the bridge. So Dolga's father. Press down on a special handle. This handle turned the bridge, so the boats could come through. Then Dolga's father pressed the handle to turn the bridge back when a train came. Most of the trains that come over the bridge carried goods, but sometimes the trains carried people. Dolga's father had a small radio on the bridge. He always knew. When a train was coming, and what was on it? One special day, Dolga's father let Dolga come to work with him. Dolga loved to go to work with his father. He loved to watch the boat sail under the bridge, and he also loved to play on the train tracks. Dolga's father always told Dolga to be very careful around the train tracks. But Dolga did not always listen. This one day, Dolga's father was very busy. There were many boats that wanted to sail through the bridge, and Dolga's father was making sure that all of them could sail through safely. Dolga's father had not seen Dolga for a little while. He began to worry. He looked around, but he still did not see Dolga. Finally, he heard. Dolga's voice. Dolga was on the train bridge. Dolga had been playing on the bridge when his father had to turn it. Now he was on the bridge alone in the middle of the water. Dolga's father tried to call to his son. He tried to tell him to be careful. If Dolga was not careful, he could fall into the water below. Just then. Dolga's father got a call on his radio. A train was coming. They needed Dolga's father to turn the bridge so the train could go over it. And this was not a goods train. It was carrying hundreds of people. Dolga's father became very worried. He looked out at his son. The train would be there very soon. He would not have time to turn the bridge. And get Dolga off before the train came, and the train was going too fast to stop. Dolga's father knew he had to choose. If he turned the bridge, the train would come before Dolga could get off. Dolga would die. But if he did not turn the bridge, the train would fall into the water. Hundreds of people would die. Dogger's father knew that what he had to do, but he did not want to do it. The train driver was calling on the radio. He wanted to make sure that the bridge was in place for the train to go over. Dogger's father told the train driver not to worry. He said the train and all the people in it would make it safely over the bridge. He looked out the window at his son Dolga one more time. He began to cry as he pushed the handle down. He could hear the train now. He could see it coming towards the bridge. The bridge continued to turn. He saw Dolga playing happily. He began to cry louder. Then, just in time for the train to come, he heard the bridge lock. He knew that the train and all the people would be safe. But he had lost his son. As the train came over the bridge, 
Dolga's father let out a huge cry. Dolga, he had killed his only son to save the lives of so many people that he would never meet. This is a very sad story. It still makes me want to cry. I think about it. I often wonder what I would do if I was Dolga's father. Would I kill my only son to save the lives of people I did not know? Would you? Mm -hmm.